Welcome to MS Update, the channel for all things motocross. From the latest news to exclusive content, we've got you covered. Whether you're a seasoned rider or a fan of the sport, we'll bring you the stories that matter most. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. And for our returning viewers, thank you for your continued support. And please support me by sending a little super thanks. As good as Jet was, it wasn't exactly complete annihilation. Chase Sexton, fresh off his 450 SX crown, was the clear second best guy on the day. He qualified second fastest, finished second in both motos, and now sits second in the standings because of it. But aside from odd first half of Moto 1 where he took a little while to get going and get around Dylan Ferrandis, Sexton was every bit as fast as his young teammate. In what ultimately was a Honda sweep just like the 2022 Fox Raceway 1 National where Sexton and then teammate Ken Roxen went 1-2-1-2, Jet Lawrence really spent the day just in front of Sexton. The entire second moto at Fox Raceway was really a battle that seemed inevitable but never materialized. After Lawrence grabbed the whole shot, he had Sexton hot on his tail and quite literally never broke away. So much so, Sexton got very close to making the pass in the final two laps only for Jet to just hang on to sweep on his debut. So despite Jet Lawrence being the storyline, Chase Sexton coming straight off championship success into second place at the opener is nothing to scoff at. Often, we see a super cross hangover of sorts and if that's what it is for Chase Sexton, who even crashed heavily in qualifying, things could be very different within weeks. I thought maybe if I get close enough, I could make a move, said Sexton. I tried my hardest and I got close. I made a little bit of an attempt with maybe 10 minutes to go and kind of messed up a little but. I was just trying to pick my spots where I thought I could make a move and Jet was obviously riding really good. We were pushing the pace and it was a fun moto. It felt a little bit like last year and I'm looking forward to a good season. I have some experience racing Eli, Tomac, last year and I plan to put that to the test this summer. Sexton was within two seconds of Lawrence for the entire moto. He rode a patient race with the realistic expectation that the 450 rookie Lawrence might make a mistake. Lawrence bounced from rut to rut in this race, but would not be forced into losing his focus. Chase Sexton was second across the board. He qualified in the second position and finished 2-2 in his motos. In the first race, he was a relatively distant runner-up behind Lawrence, crossing the finish line a little more than 10 seconds ahead. He got a great start in Moto2 and pushed Lawrence for the entire race, never getting further back than 3 seconds. He tried to pressure Lawrence into making a mistake, but both riders hardly put a wheel wrong and they finished within a second of one another.